Hey yo, and welcome to Channel 5 Gaming. We are Verona and Zelixor, and today we're looking at an amazing submission for the Planet Zoo Mini Zoo Contest. Contestants had to submit a zoo not bigger than 200 by 200 meters, a 50 by 50 grid, and within this space built a few habitats, a plaza, shops, and a track ride. We are going to share our opinions in this showcase, and at the end of the contest, you can vote on your favorite zoos who you think should win. So, let's have a look, shall we? And today we are checking out Appalachian Zoo created by Shockwave and here they say How's it going and welcome to Appalachian Zoo, a highly immersive zoo that is set in the Pacific Northwest of North America. The zoo contains most of North America's well-known animals like bison, wolves, grizzlies, caribou and so much more. Be such to not miss the Everglades Reptile House and see the zoo's albino alligator and go through the grizzly trail where you will come face to face with the grizzly. Overall the zoo itself contains most aspects of realism with most of the habitats having indoor structures and backstage, along with the big backstage area for staff in the center of the zoo. Also there's a zoo restaurant, the Cougar's Delight, that is located near the front entrance and the log jammer monorail that takes you all across the zoo and offers some of the best views that you can get. Make sure to turn animal welfare and fighting off. <laughs> cool, so let's check it out. You want it? We are always here. There we wow, are. Wow, that's Pink penguins not making a return. <laughs> <laughs> Even in Planet Zoo. We're at the entrance of, right? <laughs> entrance of Appalachian Zoo. Nice. Cool structure. Yeah. I like that entrance sign. That heater looks dangerous close to that wood, but. It's probably fine. <laughs> this is nice. I like that. The exits. Yeah. So this is a highly realistic, uh, focusing on realism, this zoo. Yeah. So all the realism fans will love this. Definitely. I like this <laughs> plaza a lot with that. Oh, right. This, this invites right you, you for in. shows and stuff. Water shows. Right. With the sea lions. Like, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Really well done, and oh yeah, of course with the uh, double uh, barrier. They they can jump really high. I did you hear about um, your favorite zoo in the Netherlands having almost one of the sea lions escape over the fence that was like oh, two meters high? Nice. <laughs> wow. There's a video on it on the interwebs. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. The interwebs. There's a lot of uh, animals in here. Yeah. I really like how this is done. Yeah, with the little steps of, of rock. Yeah, it's very bright as well, and mm -hmm. inviting. Yeah, and definitely built to to show off what they can do. I feel like this is like a podium, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> yeah, stage. You know what I mean? A stage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Well. And this is a great plaza near the entrance. Right. With the building here. This building. Oh. Cougar. Restaurant, what is it called again? <laughs> Cougar's Delight. Ah, yeah. So cool. Great. And you can sit upstairs yeah. as well. Can we have a look? <laughs> nice, fun music in the background. Yeah. I like this. It looks very cozy with those. Um, Rugs on the floor. Oh, this is a beautiful right. outlook. Yeah, and the monorail coming past this. <laughs> I love this. And this definitely really reminds cool. me of parks, mostly theme parks, but definitely the lay layout wise looks like something yeah. you could see in real life. Really well built. Wow. Damn good gifts. To the chish. Really cool. Shops. Restrooms. Bernie's mm -hmm. cupcakes. We go in? Ah, okay. That's too bad. Ooh, dull sheep. Look how mm. cool this habitat looks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen this, anything no. like this, ever. 
Wow, that's a so well done. Amazing work work. And they use it. Right. <laughs> the I love the is it called yeah. a moat in front of the the fence? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a, something you see in in almost all zoos. Yeah. And I love that you did this. Ah. Uh, again, it's like a stage where they... Uh, oh! That's cool! Oh, Ooh. wow! Wow, so, so this well is the done. staff area? Oh, it looks so realistic! Oh, and I love right? that you have a, have a... a window in the roof near the staff. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that a window? Yeah. Wow. Even the back is like, and it, you know, it's all fake, of course, right? Because it's like yeah, mm -hmm. fake rock. So yeah. it's cool how it's supported. Yeah, that's how they would do it. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Really cool. All, all those spaces steps. where they can sleep and chill. Yeah, and you can see it all from the front of the, the habitat. You have a great view of every place where they can go. Right. Look at him running! <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Reindeer. Yeah, different mm -hmm. fencing because they don't need to be. Yeah. You know, pretty okay around humans, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this is what it normally is in zoos. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, this Just is a, a very round shelter. habitat, so it looks like you really try to make it... You can look in, f inside from all sides of path. Yeah. So if you would have big structures, that would obscure the vision for the other half of the people. So it makes sense that you have yeah. it a bit more bare, but yeah. It's, yeah, it's something different we haven't seen yet, really. You, so. you went like really it. all out with the... Oh. Realism zoo. Realism. This theme. is cool. This is, you know, really how it is in in zoos. You know, this mm -hmm. fun colors and then the reptile house. Yeah. It's probably six hundred degrees in here. <laughs> yeah, I like you that know. you uh, use the more modern walls inside, so they're really well mm -hmm. integrated. The the exhibits, the way yeah. you box them in. I mean. <laughs> oh, Ooh, cool. that's cool. That you. Oh, that's actually something you see more see more often as well, where you have this really big habitat for the bigger reptiles. Wow. I have been trying to get an albino alligator for so long in my park. <laughs> no idea. Yep. Yeah, it's one-sided glass, so they don't see that everyone's looking at them. <laughs> Right. Uh, actually, can you can you look inside the habitat again? I want to see the back wall, what they did there. I like that. This? Yeah. So well done. Really cool concept. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Just with the blue box. Nice. Really cool, the mural going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and of course, the double doors. The double doors, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, <clears throat> look at the, the foliage here. Right. So that is the... Is that the backside okay, of the... the reindeer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can we have a little look in this backstage area? On the left. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I mean, I like that you made entrance doors and stuff like that where cargo would be, you know, dropped off. Yeah. And have that loading area fenced off as well. Look at this. Can we can we go back a bit? Sorry. Well, I love how you did the pathing. Um, how do you say this? The foliage next to the path going mm -hmm. up on the bridge. I really love how you did that here. Yeah. You don't have to have. You don't need fences on the path here. It's totally no. 
logical to have it like this. Ooh. Pretty. Really like this suit. Bison, bison. There we are. <laughs> yeah. They like to have a bit more plain um, habitats, right? They don't want like a lot of yeah. foliage and they don't want grass and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> the way he runs really is cool. so derpy for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so can we go all the way? Ah, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. That's great. They, they can actually charge yeah. over the bridge and then the monorail's going through it. So cool. I love the concept that they're going again. over the path. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and just, you know, these here. She did in a lot of zoos as well. So cool. Really well thought out. Prairie dog. Where are the prairie dogs then? Are they here? Uh huh. <laughs> There's a. So cute. Oh, wow. Is that an albino one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the holes. Yeah. Everywhere. I love this. You know, these habitats for especially the prairie dogs, this is so much the best case that you could see in the zoo. I feel like yeah. they have a lot of space. It looks super realistic to their environments. <laughs> I like that you have oh, cool. all these backstage sleeping areas for right. all the animals. <laughs> 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 That's so much fun. What is this here? Oh, this is another animal? Maybe it's a, like a breeding pen? You know, where you can... Mm. Separate the animals. It looks very... Yeah. Uh, I, I really love how you did that because all of that's custom stuff. Oh, it's for wolves. Oh, there we are. Ah. Wolf habitat. Yeah. <laughs> nice. They have a lot yeah. of space. You have these these areas where they cool. really want to run. You made them really elong elongated. Instead of one yeah. big round space, you just made it this really long, narrow space. So you can still see yeah, them it's everywhere. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And they still have the space to run. Yes, get a run. great view. Yeah. So cool. So this is this is a perfect example for someone who definitely planned this to uh, really well. And mm. if you want to start a zoo yourself, think about all the places where people can see the animals from the path. Because in this zoo, you can see them from everywhere. I love that. Right. Ooh, beavers. Love like the decoration the, as well. Yeah. All the. Yeah, yeah, I saw that with the alligators as well. Wow. Oh, wow. So much attention to all the foliage and details on here. Good wow. dog. Starting to build a dam. And an oh. underwater part. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> really nice habitat here as well. Wow. Look at that. Love it with the detail around the trees. Yeah. So don't, you know. Yeah. Don't chop down these. Chop it off. Yeah. That's really. That's really clever. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is for the wolves. You can see them here as well. Okay. Staff only. Okay. Why is there so many people non-staff oh, yeah, here? What are they doing here? Huh. They're not allowed in here. <laughs> <laughs> I think the with the Arctic foxes, they have a winter fur and a summer fur. Oh, okay. Something like that. So you have these ones that are always white in winter. And then you have the summer fur, which is brown. If I'm correct, I'm not entirely sure, but... 
Oh, uh, white fluffy fur. Yeah, okay. And again, yeah, great space for them to roam around in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then here and you can, can, can see the. Uh, oh, yeah, the underwater. You probably did some elevation. I didn't really quite see it because we didn't look at the path, but you probably did a bit back. So you can see inside from the top. Yeah. You can yeah. see inside here, up in the ground. Yeah. I mean, uh, up upper levels, and then, yeah. Really, really cool. Beautiful. Let's see here, the Grizzly Trail. Okay, let's go. Different vibe right away. Yeah. Let's get up here. Ooh, oh. There is one. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, that's so cool with the waterfall. Looks so good. Look at all the foliage. Specifically placed really, really well. Yeah. Everywhere. Love the backdrop there as well. Mm -hmm. So cool. Oh, the grizzlies. Yeah. Okay. Little waterfall here. <laughs> cool. Okay, there was a path down there as well, so let's mm -hmm. go there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Super cool. Oh, the realism of this is mind blowing and so immersive, <laughs> and everything is so pretty here. And look, look at the point. Good. Again, so many different sections where you can see them. Yeah. It's great. So many real life zoos can learn from this one. <laughs> yeah, they right? need to <laughs> learn from this one. <laughs> So, let's see. I haven't really been here yet, but this is again the beavers, I'm guessing, yeah? I like that the monorail okay, cool. follows follows the shape of that habitat. Yeah. A bit. So, let's... Uh, it's like a fence. And actually, the monorail, yeah. I, it's up, but I don't mind it because you supported it with wooden logs. Yeah. So it feels like it's part of the forest, or yeah, you know? definitely. Here we get the uh, puma. Wow. Again. Big uh, moat there. Super pretty layout running. here. Beautiful animals. I like Such that they're all nice super and climb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, every time I go to the zoo, they're either sleeping inside or just chilling somewhere <laughs> or push or something. Yeah. It's wow. so well done. Look at the backdrop with yeah. the <laughs> fencing. Mm -hmm. They have such a great view again. Look at this. Yeah, it really invites you to just stay there for half an hour, just look at them, watch the nature. Right. See what they're doing. Can we check the staff, that little staff area out as well? Or, I mean, sure. because they specifically told us that they put so much effort into backstage areas. I want to really show because I know that a lot of people want this in their zoo as well. They just don't know how to make it. So no. it would be great to show this off because you did that really yeah. well. Definitely, it's really well done. So cool, and they also use it, which is yeah. even better. Mm -hmm. cool. This is the best realism yeah. zoo I've ever seen so far in this game. Yeah, okay, let's get through here. Oh, that's a long queue. <laughs> yeah, it is. Beautiful station. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, let's just get on this one. Oh, this is the one. There we go. Cool. Ooh. There we are. Oh, that's a great view. Oh, you can see them yeah. from top like this. It's so great. Perfect. Oh, that water looks so nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna dive in. Yeah, me yeah. too. Wish I could go for a swim now. It's almost summer. <laughs> yeah. There Ooh, they all are. Look at now the they're brain. here. It's like they have a shift. Every half an hour yeah. they switch positions on one side or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you mix some some of the animals together in one habitat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is the okay the second station. Mm -hmm. So let's um, try to get in that other cart there. Okay, there we go. Uh, cool. I didn't see that. No. I need to check this out after. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the staff area that I saw. Um, yeah. You you really did well fencing them off so the guests don't see them. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I can imagine that you checked. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that you checked out all views to know how to build and how to put the attraction in because every view you have here is stunning yeah and you you definitely planned it out well yeah, i love the monorail this high up yeah you don't notice it at all as a guest so it's not annoying you don't have to cross the path no. the whole time um they don't stop when there is a rhino on the track or on the car. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a look into the backstage area again. I actually like that. For the guests, it's yeah. fun to see that there's this whole area where people are working to keep these animals alive and happy. <laughs> 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 I would yeah. like to see that. I'm nosy like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're back now. Cool. And I guess if you sit on the other side, you will get a view of the rest, right? Yeah. I mean. So what did I have here? So. You can sit outside. Yeah. Chill, zone. Chill zone. Nice. <laughs> Search to Ooh. Cool. Makes sense. Well done with the loading, yeah. loading dock. Definitely. Something in the barn. Wow. Um, really well thought out. Yeah. And it it, it looks. It looks l very clean, like obviously clean, but I mean clean building style <laughs> uh, wise. And if I would work here, I would love this layout because it's so you can easily see where you need to go. It makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So you can perfectly <laughs> see the 50 by 50 grid here right? that, you, uh, that they were allowed to build in. And if you yeah, look over... It doesn't feel like that. Yeah, and right? again, yeah, definitely, it doesn't feel like a super small zoo. It's very um, compact, and that way you can put so much detail in. You can do all that backstage area and all those rocks. Because if you would do this for a bigger part of the map, I mean, if you would zoom out on the entire map, you could see how much space you usually have. And a lot of people make yeah. the mistake to try and want to fill in that full map and the game can't handle that if you want to do a lot of detail no. also 
it will take you two years. Yeah. <laughs> so, but look at a backdrop. Like, yeah. Again, you know, we're completely immersed yeah. in a 50 by 50 square grid, but you don't see it because of all the... It doesn't feel like a square. You know, terraforming. No. Maybe at the entrance, mm. but that's about it, right? Yeah. It's not really something we look at. Can you uh, do even a... Even here. Yeah, definitely. Well, if you could zoom out full... again... Yeah, I want to see like the layout of those staff areas. Can you go to the middle? So you have that uh, in the middle of the park, but you don't see it because you have fenced it off yeah. really well. True. Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't see anything except for those green doors. Mm -hmm. It's like... Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's about Great. it. Great. It's really clever to have it in the middle because then it's, you know is uh, close to all habitats. <laughs> yeah. Any really nighttime lighting. Yeah, this shines oh, at the... great zoo. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, super realistic zoo here today. Appalachian Zoo created by Shockwave. What did you guys think? Leave a comment down below. We really loved it. Really great realistic zoo. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Do we? Do we?